All right, time now to check back in with our weather team. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We do have a Storm 5 weather alert that's going to really start to kick in around 11 o'clock, so lunch going into dinner time. Mm -hmm. But we still could have some showers and storms outside of that time frame. Yeah, even this morning there have been a few showers, maybe even a thunderstorm this morning. But again, later into the morning, into the afternoon, the, the greater risk ramps up. It sure does. And that's why some schools are either out or delayed. We realize that is an inconvenience to so many parents, but safety does come as our highest priority because a lot of this would be happening when school buses are out running about. Yeah, so that list right now is at the bottom of the screen and can be seen on our website at newschannel5.com. Right now, though, outside of a couple of spotty showers, we are quiet over the area. At Dixon, we were watching a little shower your way just a moment ago, so a light shower at Dixon from the Bank of Dixon, but nothing to move the rain gauge there so far uh, this morning. So here's what's up. Storm 5 alert. Damaging wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. Tornadoes are a possibility, and we've got to watch this. Where tornadoes pop, one or two could even be long track tornadoes, meaning they're on the ground for quite some time. And then ping pong ball size hail, not out of the question with this setup as well. So stay weather aware. This is that normal spring clash. Warmer air now, cooler air tomorrow. Breezy tomorrow with highs only in the 50s. There may be even a little frost out there Friday morning, Saturday morning, even a couple of spots on Thursday morning as well. So right now, here we go with shower activity. It's like a little lightning showing up back over near Henry County for us this morning. A couple of spotty showers over the metro area and some of the showers too. Again, a little lightning back over around Henry County there for us this morning. But the bigger storms, the severe storms have been well to our north. There are a host of tornado warnings through here. Lightning went just to this area that you see on screen over four hundred lightning strikes. So there is the severe weather threat for us for today covering really east of the Mississippi. So for us, stay weather aware as we are on a three out of five scale for today, Nikki D, but it doesn't mind the colors of the numbers. Stay weather aware today. Exactly. Well put. I mean, it really doesn't matter what color or number you are under. Just know that our atmosphere is very fluid and the chances for strong and severe thunderstorms are likely today, starting around 11 o'clock, going into 7 o'clock this evening. The tornado threat is still with us. We do not say that to frighten you by any stretch of the imagination, but you need to know what we are working with. The main concern, damaging wind gusts ahead of the system as well as within it. Some of these gusts could be upwards of 60 plus miles an hour. Our heavy rain will be with us and as Leland pointed out ping pong size hell and then that tornadic threat. The tornadic threat is something that we're going to keep a very close eye on and the reason being as this system moves through do you see how it elongates after it moves its way eastward so ahead of it we really are looking at some clusters of sails so when you've got those clusters it is easy for the wind to get wrapped around it that could cause some rotation and spinning movement that is why we're going to keep a very close eye on that especially after lunch continuing into around the dinner time frame this is going to continue to move its way off to the east by around five six o'clock another large cluster is anticipated to come in from the alabama tennessee state line moving its way north and east please do not take this model run as the gospel it is a good indication of the type of cells and the timing of things to take place you don't notice once we get the bulk out of here by around seven eight o'clock we still will have some lingering showers on the flip side but of course the main concern of the intense activity will have exited a lot of wind today and a lot of wind tomorrow too so our main concern today going from lunch into around dinner dessert. Temperatures will be in those 70s, showers, thunderstorms, and we are looking for several of those to be strong to severe. Tomorrow's high 55, and it will be breezy out there, making it feel even colder with that northerly wind. And we're back in the 30s Thursday morning with a high of 52 by afternoon. Yeah, so then as we make our way toward the end of the week, 57 Friday, 60 Saturday. Again, frost possibilities there. Could even have some patchy frost Thursday morning in some outlying areas. And then we'll warm back up 70 on Sunday. Eclipse day, partly sunny. So we'll have to keep an eye on that with a 2 and 10 shot at a shower coming up for us on Monday.